By the time you will come into my life, I will be a fragmented masterpiece with jaded ends and crazy eyes. I will have seen life as unapologetically as she comes. I would have seen death as horrifically as she comes. You will not recognize me. Knowing my luck, I will end up with my high school sweetheart. I don't have a high school sweetheart. The closest thing to that is a boy with an unstrained back and an inaccurate definition of manhood. By the time our paths will reunite, my flame will no longer burn. I will no longer be fierce or proud. Life would have already turned me into the proudest coward there is. When my brother almost died, I felt like life was fleeting, forever out of my reach. Forever wanting to leave me because people always want to leave me. A writer death always wants to pull them out of my life. So I grew scared. So much each poem I wrote was made of blood and co-signed by death herself. She wouldn't leave me for months. I swear she laughed whenever I cried and laughed harder whenever I laughed. There were days where I forgot about her, but she'd always come back. I grew scared of every goodbye and had tears for every hello. I refused to ever fall in love because that would be one more person's life death would taunt me with when you would come back into my life because I'm still under the belief that we would have already met. You will not know the person in front of you. But somehow, through all the clouds of insecurities, you will recognize me and maybe we will not fall in love again. Well, not again when since we were never high school sweethearts but we won't fall into each other's hearts this once maybe instead we'll learn to talk less or talk more with our arms maybe you'll we'll hold me better tighter maybe that will matter maybe that will settle all the thoughts in my mind maybe death will grow uncomfortable in front of all this softness all this life maybe she will finally leave or instead we will make mistakes, but we, but I will cling. Because if you come back into my life this time, I will no longer be prideful. I'm no longer full of myself. I will know how to beg, how to compromise. At this point in my life, I will need someone, anyone, if not to simply have something that ties me to this earth, some reason to stay here where it hurts, like really hurts. I am afraid of death but death is not a person she's not lurking i am the person the one who can change and be and live but death makes it so hard to do that when you'll come back into my life because i'm still under the belief that we would have already met i'll need you to be strong for me and i know strength is a suit that you've never worn but if you are the one the love of my life the man I will love forever. I'll need you to grow strength on the tips of your fingers and the core of your being. I'll need you to have piles of it spread across your chest. When I lie next to you, I'll need to feel my spine straighten. I know the last time we did this, we were young and incredibly imperfect, tripping over our flaws like a jaded game of hopscotch. But when you'll come back into my life, because I'm still under the belief that we would have already met. I'll need you the way I've always hoped I would. I'll need someone, anyone, and I'll somehow fall into your arms. And what irony, wanting the one that doesn't need you to feel needed. But isn't this what grief does? Turn us inside out. And the man we continue to live, all vulnerable and visibly decaying. Being alive isn't the same as living, but when you'll come back into my life. Because I'm still under the belief that we would have already met. You will convince me that this decaying, broken body is alive. Baby, you are alive. Baby, you can live now. I'm here.